going on everybody? It's your boy Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you want to continue to follow me along the journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Okay guys, I need a favor. I'm trying to hit 2k subs so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you like. Also hit that like button and leave a comment on the sneaker that we're about to take a look at today. The sneaker we're about to take a look at today, it only came in grade school sizes. It had a little, very little height behind it. But before we get into that, I'm not sure if you guys are aware that sneakers did a, uh, the sneak, Nike sneakers app, they did a Donk Reserve. And uh, they had some interesting sneakers on here. And I managed to pick up a pair of sneakers that I was actually curious about so uh i want to show them to you real quick regular nike box that's the label says nike don't glow in me first time seeing that color wash teal bleach coral and it is a size 14 and it's these bad boys here it's a nice little shoe for the summer I'm assuming this sneaker was supposed to come out in the summer because it's a nice summer color and this sneaker is restocking in the latter part of the year in July and August but you can see animal print on the overlays and the heel and all that good stuff and the swoosh, the coral swoosh is a nice short grand or new book or door book or whatever you want to call it but it's a nice sneaker let me know what y'all think the leather on here is your typical 2022 donk leather a leather that i'm not pleased with but uh that's the sneaker i was curious about it but i had to check it out but here's the sneaker we're going to take a look at today the sneaker we are looking at today actually comes in the recyclable box so that puts me in the mind of this this is trash line that Nike had tested out a year or two ago with several different sneakers that uh, was made from recyclable materials this sneaker actually has a little recyclable material on it and uh, we're gonna see what's going on with it. We got all kind of writing on the box, different languages. Has a QR code back here. And they say if you scan it, you can learn more about the sustainability and it'll take you to Nike. And it also says this product is made with at least 20% recycled content by weight, which reduces waste and our carbon footprint. All right, we're gonna flip the box top. Got a lot stamping here. Y'all can see the shoes already. Because it came with no paper, these are the Nike Don't Glue. They calling them the Homer Simpsons. This is what it looked like. These are both of the sneakers comment below let me know what y'all think of that i got these for a special person in my life they wanted them and they were just popping up at stores and i missed out so i had to reach out to uncle billy goat that's my sticker that is my authentication card i'm making up words authentication and it came with no paper has no uh, uh, YDM sticker in here. That's part of that uh, recycled uh, campaign they're doing. I didn't read y'all the box label, but it says Nike Don't Glow GS. These only came in grade school, and the color code is Blue Chill, Yellow Strike, and White. And this is a size 7 grade school. But this shoe is on a white base. You got white on your quarter panels, white on your toe box. You have that blue chill on your overlays with the heel and going around your mud guard. And you have this, this swoosh on here. If you look closely, it's like a patent leather material swoosh. 
in a yellow or gold colorway and you have a different type of material like some mesh going around your ankle collar up here the me i'm sorry the midsole you got a white midsole but if you look closer you can see you got like some recyclable materials that this is where the 20 percent recyclable materials come into play right here on your midsole and you can really see it on the outsole outsole is mainly gray but if you look real closely, there are some little different colors mixed in there. And that symbolizes that the recyclable material was used on the midsole and the outsole. Looking at the back of the sneaker, you can see that blue chill colorway on your heel badge with the embroidered Nike in the, uh, the yellow colorway. More of that mesh material going around your ankle collar. And you got the blue chill around your overlays and it's taking you to the medial side. You have that yellow swoosh coming from the other side. You can see it's patent leather material. You have white leather on your quarter panels and your toolbox. This leather is, oh my God. I'm gonna be nice. I'm not gonna say what I really think about this leather. Well, looking at the midsole, you got that white midsole, the 20% recyclable material in here as well. Let's look. Didn't come with any uh stuffing, no shoe trees, no paper. So this sneaker is about recycling. So it didn't come with any of the things we used to getting with the Nike dumps. No uh stuffing in the shoe, no paper. Look at the toe box. Here you go. This is what you get. These retail for like 90 bucks, so they really didn't put much effort into them. I'm still trying to figure out how this sneaker got nicknamed the Homer Simpson, but that's what's going on in the sneaker world. Only came with one set of laces. You had these oval laces, very thin, with a white colorway, and you got a, a mesh tongue, and you got a woven patch white with uh, the Nike branding in the gold lettering. Looking on the inside. Inside of the sneaker, you got a, a white sock liner. And look at that uh, insert. You have a blue chill insert. You got the recyclable logo right here. And you got a sticker on here. And what does that sticker? The sticker says, Upper contains synthetic leather. It says the same thing in the other sneaker, but the, your left sneaker comes with a tag affixed to the sneaker. You can pause the video and read that. Basically, I read it already because it came off the box as well. It made with at least 20% recyclable content. And then see if I can get y'all to look at that sizing tag. Actually, it's down in there. I'm gonna have to read it to you guys. This is a size seven wide production date, December 16th, 2021 to February 25th, 2022. That's what it says. Blooper. That's what it says right here on that sizing tag, guys. So let me know what y'all think of this sneaker. The Nike don't glow. They call these the Homer Simpsons. They don't look like the Homer Simpsons that came out in 2004. The Homer Simpson dunks that came out in 04. But that's what they call these the Homers. If you're into the Simpsons movie or the Simpsons, uh, cartoons that been coming on for like the last 30 years on Fox TV preferably on Sundays right after football you can catch my bar you can go back and watch that after you watch this video but this is the end of the video guys let me know what y'all think and when I go like I always tell you if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.